Hello, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, core faculty for the College of Health Sciences and Public Policy, Walden University, with a joint faculty appointment at Ross University School of Medicine. And today I wanted to um, talk a little bit about um, a global health intervention in South Africa that has uh, proved to be effective uh, for quite a number of years. Um, and one of the things I wanted to talk about about interventions is the fact that um, interventions are in fact, um, the only way you can tell if interventions are effective um, is retrospectively. And even um, then many times uh, you don't have enough um, data and um, availability of that um, within interventions because it, it's only uh, within a smaller community which uh, requires this. Um, PEPFAR was actually a fun funding that was um, given to um, low middle income countries and low income countries to um, promote HIV prevention methods um, in a community um, so that the community understands how HIV is spread and better prevent that. And in certain occupational hazards, um, HIV is more common. Um, so individually today in both South Africa um, and Zambia, um, this has been standard methods. Um, so this pop art um, is in uh, South Africa um, and Desmond Tutu, a very um, big uh, uh, uh he, he was actually a, a priest and um, he was a big fighter against apartheid. Um, and then Stellenbosch University of Cape Town, South Africa, is rolling out a, a combination prevention package um, for the HPTN071 pop art. Um, population effects of antiretroviral therapy to reduce HIV transmission study. Um, and then... Um, the study is being conducted in South Africa and Zambia. So arm A, arm B, and arm C, and, and then PEPFAR is making um, quite a bit of a difference. Thank you for listening.